Yes, this is the right title. Voilà. Mm -hmm. New issues in Switzerland, letting the archaeologists speak through local, local <laughs> communities. So I don't want to disappoint you, but we are not going to speak about any heritage, uh, world heritage site today. <laughs> you are probably asking yourself, why do we, why are, are we in this session? But yeah, let's start. <laughs> uh, we'll present a case study uh, about the structural site of the month. That's one of the projects we led with uh, the company, Archeo Concept. The basic principle of it is to enhance one archaeological site a month, and that's the map of all the archaeological sites that mm -hmm. are site of the month. Uh, it's a project running since two years, and yeah, that's uh, that's it. Uh, we are here to present it because I think we think it can help us to redefine the role of archaeology uh, in narratives and experiences uh, about on, on heritage sites. Voilà, that's why uh, yeah, we think also that site of the months are kind of similar to World Heritage Sites on a smaller scale, of course, because we have a network of sites, uh, we have a kind of label, and we share the same values or the um, same values as the World Heritage one, like authenticity, integrity, quality. And we also think uh, that the role of the local communities are important, is important, and for many reasons. We think that local um, associations are very key partners in the leading of those kind of projects. So um, the site of Mo the month offered the opportunity to address the topic of community engagement uh, in archaeological heritage management, also in Switzerland. Voila. It provides also good examples of how to create new narratives on archaeological sites um, by using new technologies. Mm -hmm. uh, new technology in the context of the site of the month structure can um, it allows us to create a space where engagement is possible and also it in this it kind of acknowledge the agency of the heritage non-specialist oh god that's you <laughs> yes <laughs> so before talking uh, about uh, these new technologies i'd like to redefine our role in the communication and transmission uh, in addition to a website available info language as you can see um, we are present uh, on social media. Uh, we have a graphic chat, we have a banner here. Um, we also give postcards, so you all will have one uh, at the end <laughs> with the site of the month on it. Uh, on the other side, um, the, communi the local communities are charged of the transmission, so the transmission of knowledge via conferences, guided visits, and diverse events like uh, tales, games, uh, etc. Uh, new narratives, um, a communication that shows that archaeology responds to new expectations, and uh, also transmission because of the content. And we have uh, one of the new, new narratives we are developing, it's uh, the 3D technology. So each site give us uh, the data, 3D data of an object they choose from the site. So this is Pecky from Petinesca. So and small coins. A, yeah, and uh, Pecky so has no money, <laughs> <laughs> small coins. <laughs> so everything is available on our, on our website. And uh, we are also developing Archeo tools. So now um, uh, site of the months are linking together uh, and you can go on each site uh, with uh, tools. And um, yeah, we're also developing uh, archaeocaching. Maybe you know geocaching. Have you seen about geocaching? You can go. And uh, we, ha we want to do the same uh, with uh, archaeology on site of the month. And uh, we want to offer people uh, to be part of a quest. And uh, it's, uh, it's great because it's uh, sensational, it's an adventure, but it's also educative. So this is uh, one of the new goals. And um, Okay, uh, and to show that archaeology is not only a tradi on traditional sites, we are now looking for different kinds of place to become a uh, site of the month. Uh, for example, we, ha we have found the Gurtzelen Stadium in Biel in Switzerland. And uh, for the history, it's a stadium uh, which was built in the um, 1920s and uh, then rebuilt in the 60s. Uh, the ultimate football game was in July 2016, um, and uh, it will be destroyed in two years. And uh, now an association um, allied with uh, the town of Bill um, make uh, 
different events to use the space and it's very great because uh, it's a community place, uh, they have a garden, they make conference workshops and uh, we want to be, uh, by making this place site of the month, we want to, to show that archaeology uh, values can, uh, um, how can I say, <laughs> they can, it can um, be there for to Accompany. <laughs> yeah, to accompany. Yeah, the idea is to also to show that archaeologists can um, share their skills and um, knowledge about yeah. uh, just to help lo or help or with com local community to think about the destruction of a place or yeah. the or giving new values to a place like this one. It was a stadium and now it's a very like place in, in Bill where you can go and there is many many things to do. Like it's um, yeah, that's finished. That's yeah. it. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>